Hey, I'm Nick Boy and welcome to Pocket. Well, I hope you're enjoying the long weekend because we certainly are. Today, we're just chilling on the beach. In Survival Talk Map Discourse. But for those of you who've been living under a rock for the past three days, here's the news. Apparently, there's a really easy way to nerf boss battles in Bloodborne, and that's by leaving the game running for 12 hours. For some reason, this makes the boss fights far less complex, and most of the time they just kind of stand there, spamming one attack. But really, what kind of person wants to cheat themselves out of a rewarding experience just by leaving their PS4 on while they're doing something else? Pillars of Eternity has been patched to stop a game-breaking bug which wiped your character's buffs forever. Also, it's retroactive, so you don't need to start a new character, Nick. What's that? You already did? All right then. And finally, this War of Mine developers, 11-Bit Studios, released some charity DLC last month, and this weekend announced they raised enough money to help 350 children affected by the ongoing war in Syria. No joke here, that's just awesome. All right, let's go to the beach. The video game beach, obviously, because uh, I'm not on holidays. Discourse is an adventure survival game along the lines of Don't Starve mixed with a choose your own adventure. It's got a really cute cartoony style and apparently there's cannibalism. So to celebrate Easter, let's eat some fools. Bon voyage. The paths you forge are your own. Choose wisely. <sighs> Rita is dead. No, she's alive. It's fine, guys. Rita's fine. So you sort of move around just with WASD. It looks like a sort of double fine game. It has a sort of, not quite broken age, but uh, but it's got a nice little cartoony look. Uh, let's have a look at what this is. Yeesh, good thing I wasn't in that seat. Yeah, because the seat you were in really helped you in that plane crash, didn't it? What the heck was a frying pan doing on a plane? Good question. Was it a plane or was it a kitchen? Dun dun dun, the mysteries begin. Uh, they're closing in on us. Huh? What the heck was that? They're calling for backup! We're totally surrounded! Make sure you aim for their eyes. You're surrounded by crabs. It'll scramble the chips in their brain. Oh no, I'm on an island filled with crazies. Hey lady, now might be a good time to help us. Might as well try to put this frying pan to good use. Oh, who am I gonna pick? I do like Steve's uh, bright orange hair, but I do like the fact that Teddy wears like four watches. Hmm, hair, watches, hair, watches. No watches! Ha! Ah, faked you out, whatever your name was. Attack crabs with frying pan, scare crabs by swinging frying pan, go help Steve instead. Okay, come on, Teddy, let's do this. Attack crabs with frying pan. Alright, just whacking those crabs. You made them angry. You're just attracting their attention. Okay, so all the crabs now came over to Teddy. Oh no, they bit him. Teddy's dead? Oh no, Teddy's fine. Well, they got them to stop attacking me. Interesting choice. Already, the game is messing with me. I wanted to help Teddy, I actually helped Steve. I hurt Teddy. Discourse. Look, another survivor. You must have been out for hours. Are you alright? What do you think? Yeah, let's let's be sassy. I was just in a crash. Do you think I'm alright? Uh, hey now. I was in that crash too, honey. Alright, you're sassy too. We're all pretty shook up. What's your name? Rita. Yep. I'm Jolene. Jolene! Lump over there with a moustache, that's my husband George. Right. Yep. That's not a very nice thing to say about your husband. Hi. Yeah, well, he just takes it. Cuckold. George. We started making the best of this here situation. I've got this fire built, and we started on some shelter. Alright. We should just start a whole new community. So far, all we've got for food is a pile of pretzels from off the plane. They give pretzels on planes? That was peanuts. <gasps> a, a boar. A boar came in and took the pretzels. Cheese Louise and sweet cream cheese! Classic Jolene. Jolene! Oh no, those pretzels are our only food, says George the Cuckold. Oh darn, those were gonna be such a well-balanced meal for us, Steve. So snarky. What if there are more of those pig monsters out there? Rita, you come with George and me. Let's go get this ball. We need to stay here and defend the few resources we've got. Teddy makes a good point. Come along, Georgie. I bet Georgie's just gonna do it. Cause he's just whipped, isn't he? Jolene! Treat your husband better. Is that your dolly part? <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> George and Rita, let's get moving. Let's get moving. There it is. We need to be careful or run away again. 
Maybe I can stun it with my camera flash. Mm -hmm. I've got my trusty fishing pole. Too bad a broken crash. No, a broken one is better. The end of a fishing pole is like that thin. A broken one, like, look, it's all pointy. Might be able to hit him with it. Hit him? Stab him, George. Stab him. This is why you don't get any respect in your relationship. All right, so what's the plan? Hang on, I'm thinking. Tell Jolene to flash a camera. Tell George to throw his pole. Throw the frying pan. Hmm. I'm gonna say, uh, George. I don't want you to throw your pole because I want you. I want you to step up and and demand that this relationship is 50-50, a partnership. So I'm gonna say, Jolene, flash your camera. All right. Well, here goes. Flashing that camera. It just walked away. Oh man. Told you that wasn't gonna work. Well, why'd you do it? Ah, uh, well, kids these days. Don't blame me. It's getting late. I think the hunt is a lost cause at this point. Right. So I've ruined the hunt. <laughs> Uh, let's just get ourselves back to camp. Maybe the others have better news. Really? It, it slowly walked off in that direction. You couldn't have followed it. I'm guessing you can wander around and find things, but I'm very invested in the story here, so I, I kind of want to get back to camp and see if they're all still there. Finally, you guys shouldn't have left us. Guys, it was maybe a minute. And we were just there. If I had two monitors, I would have been able to see you. There's definitely more than just one boar. Ooh. Oh, he's got slashes on his on his tum tum. Oh yeah, well, we're just belly aching. Poor choice of words, Jolene. What even happened? More boars showed up. We needed everyone here. What did you want me to do? Swing Teddy around my head and beat the boars away? Yeah, that would have been a good idea. We thought it was a little more important to try to protect the food. There is no food. The boar took the food. We need to stop fighting. This is getting us nowhere. It's the first sensible thing you've said, George. We need to protect these pretzels. We shouldn't just leave them out in the open. Okay. <sighs> Put them in your pocket. Just carry the pretzels in your pocket. Ah, <sighs> these characters are so stupid. Moving on. Oh, I like the little lighting effect. It, it really is a very nice style of a game. It's really cute. And particularly when we get to the inevitable cannibalism, I'm really going to enjoy that. Well, you guys actually put together a pretty decent shelter, all things considered. That is true. That is not a bad job. This belies the previous incompetence I've seen. I guess this is our home for now until we get rescued. This torch won't last forever, but I should have enough time to talk to a few people. Yeah, or you could just move back to the fire that was six feet that way. But let's talk to George. I want to find out what went wrong in this relationship. Ready for a good night's sleep? Yeah, I bet you are, George. Why don't you and Jolene sleep next to each other? Ooh. It's a really personal question to just ask someone I met. You two are married, aren't you? Do you do it? I added that bit. Well, Jolene has been complaining about my snoring recently, which is odd because it never used to bother her. Sorry, I guess that's none of my business. Yeah, you're damn right, Rita. Oh no, it's fine. Wow, this guy's pathetic. I want to I want to keep going down this marriage route. These two, I gotta either fix them or break them up. This is gonna be like the time George and I went camping on the beaches of South America, and he ruined it. That sounds like an adventure. Oh, the stories I could tell. Do tell, Jolene. We spent many nights together under the stars like this. All right, too much information already. George told me you guys don't sleep next to each other because he snores. Is it really that bad? God, I get personal. Well, it's not bad. It's it's just. Uh, it can be bad at times. Okay. You know, we could have killed that boar. Sorry, I said that with the emotional intensity that I was thinking about. We were still talking about the marriage, but she immediately moved back onto that hairy pig. I don't think... Why don't you leave the hunting to us country folk? All oh, right. I see. This is going to be some pro-gun message, isn't it? And you stick to whatever it is you city folk do. It's just trying to help, Jolene. Next time, why don't you keep your help to yourself? God, she's so sassy. This torch won't last for much longer. I can probably sneak in one more chat. <laughs> because as we all know, you cannot talk in the dark. All right, bedtime. My initial impressions of the game are, it's fun. The story element is, is, is fun to get invested in. I love all the graphics and the art, that's all cool. The gameplay is very, very minimal as we've seen so far. At this point, there don't seem to be any puzzles or anything that you need to solve. It's all just sort of wandering around having these conversations, but it is fun to do it. I think the game rewards you for getting invested in these characters. Like I obviously have, uh, have an unhealthy obsession with George and Jolene's relationship. Something I do like though, is that Rita seems to be saying everything 
I am saying. So it's nice when you see a character who in a situation you as the player sort of go, wait, what the hell is going on here? It's nice that she's actually saying this stuff as well. She seems to be a little more self-aware than everybody else. All right, I'm gonna leave the first impressions here, but if, like me, you are as invested in Jolene and her beloved husband, George, then let us know and we will continue this story in a later episode. But that's all we've got time for today, so Nick Boy, out.